you know, I remember that day. I was actually at the station that day. Wow. And I was so disgusted. I was so disgusted, Serge. Why? Why? Because they didn't want to give it to Nas. Remember, you got to remember in that moment what Jay was. Like, Jay was, he was that guy. And he was very much a friend to the station. Um, it's, and I'm not saying anything and out of turn. I just hear it. I remember it differently. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. If you can remember when they took a vote. Yeah, Lex, it, was five, it was four to one. It was four to Omar, one. Lex himself originally voted for Jay. Flex, mm -hmm. um, Angie voted for Jay. It was K Slay that went berserk up there. Yep. Rest in peace, K Slay. And K Slay called all of them out on the air, mm -hmm. like, yo, y'all are bugging. Mm -hmm. And just said what was obvious, because it was. It doesn't take nothing away from what either of those men have become in the world of hip hop. Absolutely. But it just was obvious. And everybody was scared to say it except for the streets. People were worried about their relationship with Jay. It was such a big deal up there. But, you know, it's crazy because at the time, like I started this off by saying, you have been knowing Nas since he's 16. You're also an exec at Def Jam. Rockefeller is distributed by Def Jam. Jay later goes on to become president of Def Jam. So I just wondered like, where, where, where did your loyalties lie? Even as a, a, an executive, but also as a, as a, as a fan of hip hop. Oh, you no, know, was, I told, I told, I told Jay to his face that Nas bodied you in front of Kareem and Big and, and uh, Kareem, I mean, and, and Dame and Jay. I was like, yo, you got bodied by Nas. He did. That that was that was I mean Nas came him. back so hard and the way that song opened up. My oh. god. <laughs> All right. Um switch topics with me. Uh I know you got, you know, I always admired you. I and you, we, we're not gonna go down this road because you've you had this discussion in many interviews. Um you know, in, in terms of Nas being signed to your production company, Searchlight Productions, um, you only took a small fraction. Um, you know, anybody else would have done, I mean, let's just keep it a hundred percent. Um, standard business would have given you more points on that album than you chose to take, not even gouging. Um, but you always was still showing, I didn't want to be that Jew who took advantage of another young, young black, black man. And I always thought that was so admirable to think you, for you to even think in that direction, because truth be told, when Nas signed to you, you weren't much older than him. Like, like for you to even be thinking in that direction, it wasn't like you were some seasoned old man. Like you were still a young executive just coming out of being an artist yourself. So I thought that was, you know, I, I thought that was real dope of you. But my real question is, have you ever gone on to sell your publishing? Which publishing? My my own? Like it's, no, 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 no. The 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 um off of the Nas Illmatic album. Yeah, I, I sold it no, in I October. I sold yeah, I sold I sold it in November. This past November. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow. I sold, I sold my share. Yeah. What made what made you do that after all these years? 35 year rule. There you go. So I only have like eight years left on my two albums. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I was going to make any real money, that multiple, if it was less, I, I wouldn't have been able to, to sell it. And not that I wasn't making bad money. I was making great money. I, I make really, I was making sizable money. But for me, looking at the future and not even my future, my children's future and my children's children's future and trying to leave a legacy for my family. I had to say, look, I can't keep collecting these checks every year. I got to get one big check and now replenish and, and, and start to acquire new catalog. So I'm signing a super dope producer. I'm signing this amazing writer, you know, uh, an artist I signed 
11 years ago is now starting to blow. Shout out to my man, Bodie James. What up though, Detroit? 227 Concrete, just Griselda, Butcher, what up? So, um, you know, now Bodie's starting to like happen. Um, so it's about thanking Nas and my family thanking him for allowing me to, um, to benefit uh, and to allowing me to be a part of that small part of his story. And now just making a, a, a nice check to now acquire new catalog. And also to use that money to also get my catalog back. So that's what I'm using it for. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.